Hey guys, Anthony here in St. Petersburg at the Imagine Cup. I've got Julian here with me from the Key Breath team from France. I love this project, man. Tell me a little bit about your project. Key Breath is our project for children affected by cystic fibrosis. We designed a game to transform daily physiotherapy exercises they have to do in a game. And uh, children love games, so they love our project. People with cystic fibrosis have to do daily physical and breathing exercises every day, right? Every day, they have to do every morning, and uh, it's really hard for them. One of the things that you said in your presentation that I thought was interesting is that um, so many of these kids get sicker because they can't stick with doing this every day. If they don't do daily physiotherapy, their life expectancy will be divided by two or three. When you were uh, creating this game, because there are breathing exercises, you had to use a spirometer, right? Can you explain a little bit about what they do and how expensive they are? Medical spirometer uh, is a device to measure breath accurately. But uh, this device costs at least $2,000 and it's really expensive for family and uh, physiotherapist. That's why we created our own prototype of spirometer. Uh, it costs less than uh, $200. So you guys, you looked at the spirometer and you said, this is too expensive. And what did you do? Did you find just like simple off the shelf stuff that would work? Yeah, that's it. Walk me through what happens when a kid is playing this game and their physical therapist is watching them play. When the kid plays the game into, uh, with the physiotherapist, the physiotherapist will have a Windows 8 application on tablet to monitor breath of the child and interact with the difficulty of the game in real time. For instance, if the child uh, he have some problem, the physiotherapist can uh, reduce the difficulty of the game. They are getting also, on the back end, they get all these analytics about the kid's breath and their health, right? They can see how they're progressing. They get uh, all, all breath data, so they can uh, compare if they want after. What I love about this is this is it just looks like a regular game. Like right down to you guys have like leaderboards. You have global leaderboards for this, right? Yeah, we designed the Network Hall of Fame to uh, entertain the child to win the first place of the uh, of this Hall of Fame. Yeah, something about like competition just makes them want to do it more. Right? Yeah, like Imagine Cup. Yeah, exactly. So if uh, if people want to keep up with you guys or just see what you're doing, learn more about the project, is there a place they can go? Yeah, we have a Facebook page. Well, thank you very much, Julian. This thing is amazing. You guys are doing wonderful, wonderful work. Remember, we have more here all week from the Imagine Cup. A ton of inventions, a ton of amazing projects, but also over at Rev3 Games, we're showing off a ton of amazing games that have been developed here for the Imagine Cup. So subscribe here, subscribe there.